What's up everybody? It is Matt Modai with Dodge Dan. And for this video, we've got some NBA player props that have a ton of value. The games aren't played until Saturday, but when I'm recording this Thursday, there's a ton of value on some NBA player props. So I wanted to lock these bets in and I wanted to make sure that I came out with the video. Hopefully these bets will beat the closing line. I got three or four total today. Hopefully the guarantee is that all are going to be closing line and we'll get some really good bets. Before I get started, a couple things I want to note. If you want to find me on Twitter, you can hit me up at my Twitter handle. You see it right here, Modi underscore Matt. Very boring. I uh, would also appreciate if you could like the video, subscribe to the OddsJam YouTube channel, and comment with your feedback. I love all the interaction with you guys. Even if it's negative, I don't mind that as well. Just want to hear from you. Let me know what you like and what you don't like. So what I have up here is the OddsJam positive expected value page. Every bet that I place is taken from this Ajdam plus EV page, which means that it's gonna have positive expected value associated with it. The first one that I really, really like, I think has a ton of value, is this Jason Tatum to go under five and a half assist. So the Ajdam perfect line prices this at plus 115. The other side of it is priced at minus 154. And we're getting it all the way at plus 140 on Caesars. So what I need to do first is remove the VIG. So the VIG, if you're unfamiliar, is just the way in which sports books make their money. They juice up the odds, they charge a VIG instead of actually charging a transaction fee. So I can go to Caesars and I can place hundreds and millions, whatever, however, however many bets I want to place, I won't get charged a transaction fee. Instead, they'll just charge a VIG and that way they can make their money. So what I need to do is remove the VIG. So you go to the no VIG fair odds calculator on the odds jam perfect line. All you need to do is you need to find both sides of the odds jam line. So the odds jam perfect line is pulled from the sharpest sports book in the world. These lines are gonna be the most accurate, the best lines. Anywhere in which we're getting more favorable odds with the VIG removed, it's gonna be plus EV. So that's how this works. So plus 115, minus 154, minus 154, plus 115, puts the true line of this bet at plus 130. And again, we're getting it all the way at plus 140 on Caesars. Another thing that I like to do before deciding whether I'm gonna place a bet or not, is I wanna see where every market is pricing this. So as we can see here, this is the Odds Jam odds page. Um, basically this page is completely free. What it does is you just select the game you select the market and it pulls where um, every single sports book is pricing that specific market. So as we can see, getting this at Caesars at plus 140 is a huge outlier here. Plus 140, every other book, the closest is plus 120. This is an insanely valuable bet, which I absolutely love. So I'm gonna lock it in. Jason Tatum under five and a half total assists. This is a really good bet. I'm gonna put 50 bucks on it. So this is the first one that I've bet for these early lines that I'm getting for this um, Saturday NBA playoff slate. So now that I've locked it in, I need to add it to my bet tracker. Just click the plus button. You make sure that you're entering it on the correct side. You enter the correct amount. I put 50 bucks, plus 140 Caesars, good to go. So the Ajjam bet tracker is another tool in which is completely free. You just go to ajjam.com, bet tracker bets. Again, like I said, it's free. It's an amazingly helpful tool. Um, it tracks your closing line and the closing line, just the no big odds. So anywhere in which you are getting better odds over time, assuming the odds don't change out of favor, is going to be green. It tells you whether your bets are green or red. If you have a red bet, it means that you are no longer beating the closing line. It's no longer a positive expected value bet. What you can do there is just cash it out. So it's a really helpful tool. I also love it because it auto grades your bets for you. So all these pending bets you see here, the Ajdam will, bet tracker will manually mark them as won or lost. So it'll tell me whether my bet is won or lost and I don't have to manually go in and do it, which is really nice. So this Jason Tatum one is my first bet that I really like. He hit this prop in game two, in game two against the Bucks. He missed it in his last four games. So I do think there's some value there and getting it at plus 140 was just insane. So this is gonna be my first bet, Jason Tatum under five and a half assists. So the next bet that I wanna highlight that I really like is this Jalen Brown over 34 and a half points rebounds assists. So let's first remove the VIG, find out what the true line is. Ajdam perfect line prices that at minus 120, other side is at minus 110. So again, I just type in both odds, minus 120, 
minus 110, puts the true line of this bet at minus 104. And again, thanks to using Ajdam, I found it at plus 100 on points bet. So right off the bat, I know that's a valuable bet. Now I wanna look at the market itself and see where every other book is pricing it to really see if this is valuable. And look at that, insane value here. We're getting him to go over 34 and a half points, rebounds, assists at plus 100. Every other book, the closest is minus 113 with most books having it at minus 120. Insane value. Jalen Brown hit this prop in game two. He was phenomenal. His hamstring seemed to be bothering him. So he gets a full two days off. He gets all of Thursday. No, sorry. He gets three days off. He gets all of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off, plays Saturday. Insane rest, insane value on the bet. So I'm going to lock this one in on points bet. I'm going to put 75 on this one. Points bet's going to take a little bit to decide whether it's going to take my bet. We'll see how much it lets me put on. And look at that. It let me put 75 on it. Perfect. So 75 bucks, Jalen Brown to go over 34 and a half points, rebounds, assists. Again, of course, I need to add this bet to my bet tracker. I put 75 on this one. Click save. And we're good to go. So there's two other bets that I'm going to, um, this one, I'm going to avoid. Uh, I generally like to only look at bets that have market width that are 40 cents and below. The way you calculate it for a plus and a minus, you just subtract the two numbers. 176 minus 129, what's that? 47 cents in market width. That one is a no-go, but this Jordan Poole one is at 41 cents. It's a little bit higher than I like, but if it's a good bet, then I'll take it. So let's look at where every other market is pricing it. So it's Jordan Poole, Jordan Poole rebound. So FanDuel has it at minus 128. Points bet has it close at minus 131, as does Bet Rivers at minus 139. Every other book has it minus 160, minus 155 on Bet MGM. That's a really good bet. So minus 128 is a true outlier here. So let me go to FanDuel and let me place this bet. And here we have it, Jordan Poole over three and a half rebounds, minus 128 odds. I'm only gonna put 50 bucks on this one which is the same I put for the Tatum one, but the Tatum has a much higher payout, so that signified more confidence in it. Um, the 75 for the Jalen Brown one, obviously my most favorite bet, but good to go, placing this bet, done, locked in. Now I need to add it to my bet tracker, and those are gonna be my three early line shopping bets for this Saturday NBA betting slate. I got two in the Bucks versus Celtics, one in the Golden State Warriors versus Memphis Grizzlies. If you're tailing, I would love to hear it. Again, you can hit me up at my Twitter handle. You see it on the screen here. Would also love it if you could let me know if you're tailing in the comments. Like the video. Of course, subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel and go to IGM.com. Sign up for a free trial. Play around with all the tools you saw me use on the video here today and start caching. But as far as this video goes, that's all I got for you. So thanks for watching and have a good one.